Okay, so given number 16, what is two-fifths of ten? Letter A, four. Letter B, five. Letter C, six. And letter D, twelve. Again, in given number 16, is we are asked, what is 2 fifth of 10? So here's the solution. So in order for us to get what is 2 fifth of 10, we will just simply replace off by multiplication sign. So magaran po tayo ng 2 over 5 times 10. Pinalitan lang po natin yung off natin ng times so, 2, fa 2 over 5 times 10. Or pwede rin po natin gawin is 2 over 5 times 10 over 1. Gumamit po tayo ng imaginary denominator po. So, 2 times 10 will give us 20. 5 times 1 will give us 5. Then, 20 divided by 5 will give us 4. So, therefore, the answer is letter A. So, ganun lang po kadali yung pagkuha ng part ng isang whole kapag po fraction. Okay, so given number 17. So, given number 17, what is 15% of 80? Letter A, 12. Letter B, 8. Letter C, 24 And letter D, 18 So again, in given number 17 Is we are asked, what is 15% of 80? So in order for us to solve for this problem We have to recall the percentage formula So sa percentage formula po Meron po tayong whole times part divided by 100 so therefore we need to identify kung alin po yung whole and alin po yung part sa given natin so in given po na so sa given po natin meron po tayong 15% and meron din po tayong 80 so since yung 80 po yung, ini yung inihingan po ng 15% siya po yung whole natin yung 15% naman po siya po yung classified as part natin so by so you so by using the formula we came up with 80 times 15 divided by 100 yung 80 po yun po yung whole natin yung 50 naman po siya po yung part natin so 80 times 15 divided by 100 so 80 times 15 will give us 1200 divided by 100 so 1,200 divided by 100 will give us 12. So therefore, yung 15% po ng 80 is 12. Okay, so given number 18. A bag contains 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. What is the probability of getting red, then blue, without replacement? Again, a bag contains 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. What is the probability of getting red, then blue, without replacement? Letter A, 1 over 7. Letter B, 2 over 21. Letter C, 1 over 3. And letter D, 2 over 7. Okay, so again, in given number 18, is we are tasked to find what is the probability of getting red than blue without replacement. Again po, meron po tayong given na a bag contains 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. So, hinahanap po natin yung probability na makakuha po tayo ng red and then blue po without replacement po. First po, is kunin po natin yung probability of getting red. So, probability of getting red is 6 over 15. Again, as we mentioned earlier, na in ang inilalagay po natin sa numerator is yung number of success natin. And then, sa denominator naman po is yung total number of possible outcomes. 
So, 6 po yung nilagay natin sa numerator for red because meron po tayong 6 red marbles. Sa denominator naman po is 15 because meron po tayong 15 na total sa loob po ng bag po. Meron pong 6, 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. That is equal to 15 marbles. That's why sa denominator po natin, or yung total number of the outcomes is 15. Next naman po is probability of getting blue naman po. So ang inilagay po natin sa numerator or sa number of success natin is 5 because meron po tayong 5 blue marbles. And sa denominator naman po natin is meron lang po tayong 14. 14 po because po nung sa probability of getting red, sinabi po sa given natin na without replacement. So meaning to say, nung kumuha po tayo sa red marbles, is nabawasan na po yung total number of possible outcomes. That's why 5 over, 5, 5 over 40 na lang po yung probability of getting blue marbles. Okay, so after that, we have to multiply fractions. So 6 over 15 times 5 over 14 is equal to, so 6 times 5 will give us 30, 15 times 14 will give us 210. Simplify po natin. So, 30 over 210. Pwede pa po siyang simplify sa 1 over 7. So, meron po tayong 1 over 7 as probability na makakuha po tayo ng red sa una and then blue without replacement po. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. So given number 19, given number 19, a bag contains 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. What is the probability of getting red, then blue, with replacement? Again, a bag contains 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. What is the probability of getting red, then blue, with replacement? Letter A, 1 over 5. Letter B, 6 over 4 to 5. Letter C, 2 over 9. And letter D, 1 over 13. Okay, so in given number 19, we are asked again to find the probability of getting red, then blue. But this time, with replacement. So again, first step is we have to get the probability of getting red. So the probability of getting red is 6 over 15. Again, in our numerator, ang nilalagay po natin is yung number of success natin. So since meron po tayong 6 red marbles, that's why 6 po yung nilagay natin sa numerator natin. So denominator naman po natin is yung total number of possible outcomes. So since meron po tayong 15 marbles in total, that's why 15 po yung nilagay natin sa denominator. So the probability of getting red marble is 6 over 15. Next naman po is yung probability of getting blue. So probability of getting blue is 5 over 15. So 5 sa numerator because meron po ta sa numerator because meron po tayong 5 blue marbles. Sa denominator naman po natin is still 15. Because meron tayong 15 total marbles in a bag. So as you notice po, yung with replacement po is hindi po napalitan yung total number of possible outcomes natin. Because po, after getting the probability of getting red, with replacement po, meaning to say, sinoli lang din po. So hindi po naapektuhan yung probability of getting blue marbles. That's why meron pa rin po tayong 15 as total number of possible outcomes. So right after natin kunin yung probability of getting red and blue, we will now multiply the fractions. So 6 over 15, which is the probability of getting red, times 5 over 15, which is the probability of getting 5, o which is the probability of getting blue marbles. So 6 times 5 will give us 30. 15 times 15 will give us 225. So, pwede pa po natin siyang isimplify by 6 over 45. So, 
therefore, meron po tayong 6 over 45 na probability probability na makakuha po tayo ng red marble and blue marble with replacement. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter B. Okay, so, last number given number 20. So, what is the solution to the equation 4x squared minus x is equal to 14? Again, given number 20, what is the solution to the equation 4x squared minus x is equal to 14? Letter A, x is equal to negative 3. Letter B, x is equal to 10. Letter C, x is equal to 2. And letter D, x is equal to 57.8. So, in given number 20 is we are asked to find the solution to the equation of 4x squared minus x is equal to 14. So, para po malaman natin yung solution sa equation po natin, is pwede lang po natin i-check yung mga choices po natin. So, let's start from letter A, which is x is equal to negative 3. So again, meron po tayong given na 4x squared minus x is equal to 14. Yan po yung hinahanapan natin ng solution. So again po, una po natin check yung letter A which is x is equal to negative 3. So para po i-check is we will just simply substitute um, negative 3 sa lahat po ng x sa equation po natin. So, magkaroon po tayo ng 4 times negative 3 raised to 2 minus 3 is equal to 14. Again, popilitan lang po natin yung x natin ng negative 3. So, 4. So, negative 3 raised to 2 will give us 9. So, kaya po nagkaroon po tayo ng 4 times 9 minus 3 is equal to 14. So, 4 times 9 is 36 minus 3 is equal to 14. 36 minus 3 is 33 is equal to 14. So therefore, 3 is not the solution to the equation. So yung letter A po is hindi po siya yung correct answer. So let's try naman po sa letter B. So sa letter B naman po is yung x is equal to 10. So again po para po i-check, we'll just simply substitute 10 sa lahat po ng x ng equation natin. So, magkaroon po tayo ng 4 times 10 raised to 2 minus 10 is equal to 14. So, 4, 10 raised to 2 will give us 100. Kaya po nagkaroon po tayo ng 4 times 100 minus 10 is equal to 14. 4 times 100 is 400 minus 10 is equal to 14. 400 minus 10 is 390 is equal to 14. So, letter B is not the solution to the equation. So, hindi rin po correct yung, yung letter B. So, hindi po yung 10 yung solution to the equation. So, try naman po natin yung letter C, wherein x is equal to 2. Again po, para po i-check natin, pinapaltan lang po natin yung x natin ng 2. Substitute lang, sinasubstitute lang po natin yung para po i-check kung siya po yung solution. So, magkaroon po tayo ng 4 times 2 raised to 2 minus 2 is equal to 14. So, 4 times 4 because 2 raised to 2 is 4 kaya po nagkaroon po tayo ng 4 times 4 minus 2 is equal to 14. 4 times 4 will give us 16 minus 2 is equal to 14. 16 minus 2 is 14. So, 14 is equal to 14. So, therefore, letter C is the correct answer. So, x is equal to 2 is yung correct answer po natin. So, therefore, 2 is the solution to the equation. The correct answer is letter C.